How did we start? How do you climb Mount Everest? It's there. And uh, it's a challenge. Originally, they were being treated by being sent to an institution, separate from the family, and often they got lost there. We had to develop our methods of education. No one seemed to know what it was. I remember our first check went to the Center for Artistic Children. <laughs> the families, uh, first of all, were blamed like it was their fault, which wasn't so. We had to overcome the defensive position that they were in, and then gradually we got supporters. Then, having done that, we had to decide how do we best approach the child in his family, in the, his environment. And by doing that, we, end, we ended up getting the neighborhood and the extended family all interested and busy. From there, we had to decide how we're, we were going to approach it. And what made sense was to, first of all, identify where the children were really functioning at and join them at that level. And when we did that, we found out that the children would, would respond. Before you know it, it really made a, a different awareness of what autism was. What we did was just work with what we had and accepted that it was, it was developing. And it did. You had to have one foot in reality and one foot in the kind of fantasy and wish. The word work, hard work, oh, it was good. Good work. <laughs> I certainly am proud of what they're doing and their and their commitment. It makes me feel like uh, I can rest and know that uh, things will continue and will grow, and more chil children will be helped.